breaking news that's come in at this point. Bangladesh's interim government will be taking oath tomorrow. Nobel laureate Professor Mohammed Yunus led interim government in Bangladesh is set to take oath tomorrow. That's the information that we're getting at this point. A crucial day as the interim government is set to take oath tomorrow. Remember, Sheikh Hasid Sheikh Hasina had to resign. She was forced to resign amid several protests that seemed to have happened. The worst point was over 300 people killed in a matter of few days. Just on Sunday, there were at least 100 people who had died, including many students. And I'm being joined by Pradeep Datta at this point. Pradeep Datta, an important day tomorrow as an interim government uh, is set to take oath in Bangladesh. Is that likely to change and bring any sense of ease and calm in Bangladesh? There was a lot of demands by students' bodies as well, even as uh, uh, the army had earlier announced for an interim government. See, things are not going to be that easy for interim government because Mohammed Yusuf Yunus, no doubt, he's a Nobel laureate and he's an economist. But something to deal with microcrediting and looking after the government is not going to be that easy because already we have seen that it is no more the democracy on the streets of Bangladesh. It has turned into mobocracy and it's a complete anarchy. And so far as the future of Sheikh Hasina is concerned, its future is tense and uncertain too. Well, I am saying uncertain because nobody knows what is in store for her. Already we have seen the Western countries have shut their doors on Sheikh Hasina because of she wanted to go to UK and seek asylum there, but already no green signal has been given from their side because she thought that her sister is a citizen of that country and she's also with Sheikh, Has Sheikh Hasina, Sheikh Rihanna. So she thought that it would be better to uh, settle down there. But now uh, the UK has already made it clear the first country you're visiting is India, so you stay back there. That will be the best thing for you. United States has already uh, cancelled visa of uh, Sheikh uh, Hasina because she thought that her son is putting up there, so it will be easy. And so far as they support Mohammed Yunus, it's going to be a crown of thorn. It's not going to be that easy because we have seen, as you rightly said, it is no more about the quota, it's no more about the reserve it has taken a communal turn. We saw that how the temples were targeted, members of the minority community, Hindus were targeted. Even the uh, singer, folk singer, his house was burnt uh, and set ablaze uh, by, by the mob there. It was one 40-year-old house, 300 instruments. This is the same place where right. the French uh, president had visited last year. So see, when you look at the developments on the ground, it clearly indicates that there is a foreign end. There were people who wanted to hijack this uh, student education. There were Islamist radical element. If you look at Islamic, uh, Islamic uh, Chhatri Shibra, everybody knows that Islamic Chhatri Shibra is nothing, but it's basically the student print of Jamaat Islam. And Jamaat Islam is funded by Pakistan right. spy agency, inter service intelligence, and they're getting funds from China because China always wanted to have a strong foothold so, in South Asia. And here was a country that was more closer to India. So right, China Kobe. wanted to have a strong foothold. That's one of the reasons they wanted to destabilize the government. Pradeep, thank you very much for joining us with those details. Crucial days ahead for Bangladesh. Of course, an interim government to be sworn in, but that's just one part of it. There's democracy and peace, really, that needs to be restored as well.